talking to the guys from Requiem, and we're actually really excited about the show at Corova on May 28th. Uh, it's going to be pretty big with five bands. Yeah, it's shaping up to be a bloody huge one. We're absolutely stoked to have Haddlemore coming down to Ballarat. That's going to be amazing. Give me a right off geek. Get on down. And plus, we've got the fellas from Fall and Resist playing their first show. Um, Feast of Crows are always great. And the young fellas from at Seas End, they're just making leaps and bounds. So that'll be really cool to see again as well. Yeah, absolutely. It's going to be a hell of a gig. And yeah, you're right. Getting Haddlemore into Ballarat's fantastic. We need more of these bigger bands to come down. Yeah, it's great. We've been pretty lucky this year so far. Um, yeah. We had we had Mason and Hybrid Nightmares, and we've had Psychropty, King Parrot. Like we've yeah. had a Orpheus. Orpheus Omega. We've had a great year yeah. so far. And it's not even halfway through yet, is it? <laughs> yeah, I think we've had a metal gig every month. That's the way. Yeah, pretty much. And you know, between Eastern and Corova, both of those places are you know doing a really great job and helping us guys out. Yeah. Well, yeah, you guys are definitely pulling your weight because, yeah, we've only got really two of these music venues that really, well, appreciate metal and let us throw gigs. Yeah, it's 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 good. I think we've got just enough, like, it, it keeps it good, you know, just with the two, I reckon. If, if there was any more, I reckon there would be a bit too much yeah. ch- choice kind of thing. Like, But those two venues between Bar, they do an amazing job. Yeah, well, this is the thing. Ballarat's growing, and well, so is Melbourne. So we want to get you know as much as much metal as we can out. But we can get well, you know, more live music venues, more bands from Melbourne as well. It seems to be the way. Many more bands from Melbourne are coming down our way. So yeah, getting some sick lineups on the road. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we had this big resurgence of uh, hardcore coming in in the early two thousands, mid two thousands, and it seems like that's kind of died off, and, and we're just getting this massive metal resurgence coming. It's starting to take a big change, isn't it? Yeah, it's good. It gets all these younger bands coming up too. So there's a lot of variety in well, Ballarat, Melbourne, the whole scene, man. The whole the whole country, man. Australia's pulling some sick bands at the moment. We've got some true true talent around around this country at the moment. So absolutely, you guys are making our job very easy. Oh, glad glad to hear. <laughs> Well, yeah, yeah. You, but uh, yeah, you guys have been on the road a lot this year. From yeah, your Facebook page, you've been gigging quite a lot. Yeah, heaps of um, heaps of K's in the car, man. Starting to take the toll. <laughs> no. Yeah, absolutely. We we all enjoy it. We enjoy it heaps. It's great. Yeah, that's what we want to hear. But yeah, how is this year going for you guys? I know you've got uh, the album out, the EP out, uh, and you're touring. It seems like it's building for you guys. Yeah, well, we've just yeah, well, not long drop damnation. So we're in the works for a new album now. Getting a few songs down, get that working, and well, what are we looking at end of this year, early next year, trying to trying to get some more material out to the peeps. It's going to be sick, dude. Yeah, that's what we want to hear. We want, yeah, we, we always want new material. Of course, of course. See how it goes. It's taking a whole different direction, dude. It's like... Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. It's going to be good. Don't you worry about that. <laughs> bit, of, bit of black metal, yeah. bit of Ooh. death metal, bit of tech. Jumping just, outside the box, man. Just everything. Just mixing it up. Interesting. Well, yeah, what do you guys describe yourself at? Because metal's a pretty wide genre, and then there's subgenres in between. Just extreme metal. We've got extreme metal. Yeah, that works. Do a category. We're, we're trying not to be identifiable. Just you know, extreme metal. What else can it be really? When like when we're playing with other bands and stuff, we tend to get lumped in with the thrash bands. But huh. you know, I don't think we're exactly a traditional thrash band. We've got influences, but we try and keep that as a stage presence, like the thrash up there. You know, with yeah. your face on. Yeah. But, no, music wise we're just trying to trying to do something completely different no that sounds good because yeah you can quite easily sub to a to a ridiculous point and it just oh, becomes yeah. yeah it just becomes insane yeah it's it's a bit hard when we're posting on Facebook that we're a mel- melodic thrash slash black metal slash death metal band <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah this is it. The internet's kind of jumped in on that and kind of started, well, I mean, all these different genres are coming up and you're going, how is it a pop, thrash, melodic jazz band? Like, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's all, all off the hook. But as long as it's metal. We can keep that. We're doing just fine. Just metal. Just metal. No, we're punk pop, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think there's enough bands on that scene so you can hell, throw it in there and see what happens. Give us a few albums when... We realise that we're not going to get rich and we need to get rich quick. We'll probably start a <laughs> bit of dubstep. 
This is it. There's everything in metal music these days. There's dubstep, there's jazz tunes, there's just, you know, everyone's playing a cello nowadays. You can do anything. Yeah, the organ. Oh, is that the organs and shit? Bring in the oboe. <laughs> yeah, why not? This is literally the why not. The home studio has just revolutionized the why not in music. Yeah, I know. It's pushing limits, eh? Hey? So how is the writing and recording process going for this new album? I'm definitely keen to hear something of this. Yeah, man, it's coming along really well. We've uh, we've got one song down. Oh, fantastic. Um, we're done, which we'll probably start playing live soon. Um, Very long. Yeah, yeah, it's about a seven-minute one. Oh, so Hell yeah. Um, lots of, uh, yeah, long progressive and technical elements about it. And said it's just in you know, a whole different direction. We're not on any time limit. We're just writing how we feel, you know. Yeah. We're just writing as it goes. Not pushing. Let That's the way to do it. You've still got to have fun while you're doing so, while you're uh, trying to be serious at the same time. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, we're a fun band, but yeah, you know, when it comes to the music side of things, we take it pretty seriously. Yeah, that sounds like yeah, perfect, perfect balance. Uh, are we going to hear anything new on the twenty eighth? You very well might. Yeah, you very well might. Might hear a new cover. <laughs> well, that'd be yeah. good. Well, yeah, this uh, week, uh, this week on the show, we are doing a metal cover special because there's just so much. Is that something you guys are going to delve into? Oh yeah, man, we've 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 done covers since the beginning. Since, since we first started, like yeah, the very first set we played was uh, just a cover set, actually. And we've kept covers pretty prevalent throughout our sets throughout the years. We've done far out close to ten different songs. Yeah. Because you know, it's just fun to play the songs that you know everyone in the venue knows the words to, and everyone gets yep. into it. Yeah, um, we all that you know we're all yeah. here for heavy metal, so. It is fantastic trying to see the drunk guys trying to scream along with the song everyone knows, drunk off their ass. That is a it's a sight to be seen. Uh, we'll see we that we used there. to do raining blood. Uh, we yeah. did that for like two and a half years. Every time we close the set with that, and everyone would just be wasted, and the whole joint would just get <laughs> light up. And, yeah. I can picture it already. Ah, uh, yeah, it's unreal. <laughs> that Kerry King solo is a bit fun to try and play live. Oof, yeah, he is a yeah. That left hand of his has got some work cut out for it. Yeah, yeah. I would think so, man. <laughs> yeah, everyone appreciates the classics, and everyone appreciates cover as well. But yeah, yeah. it's got to be done right, though. That's yeah, right. yeah, absolutely. Can't really... <laughs> uh, now, one thing I did see you guys are doing fantastically right is your merch. I did see that you guys have got a range of Legionnaires hats out now, which I love. You do indeed. Get you do the indeed. Yeah. Absolutely yeah. fantastic. Um, huh? Yeah, the hat with the, the gigantic flap on the back that everyone was kind of, I think, punished to wear in primary school. Yeah, yeah. The primary school they're hats. the ones. Mother, mother <laughs> warm up. Mother warmers. <laughs> Where did we get this idea from? What was the inspiration behind that? Oh, just being sun smart, mate. <laughs> 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 it was the middle of summer. We were practicing, and we thought, well, why the fuck not? Yeah, we're getting burnt as. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, our, our fans need this. <laughs> our fans need to be safe while listening to Requiem. Just giving back to the people who give so much to us. <laughs> That's brilliant. You're being metal, metal with a positive message. I love it. And- <laughs> Gotta look after the they look after you. Yeah. <laughs> gotta be true to the fans. Gotta keep those fans alive to keep coming to gigs. <laughs> yeah. That is fantastic. Because, that yeah, <laughs> everybody knows that hat. But that definitely yeah. needs to be on the merch table. I love it. We've got a few. If you like yellow, come get one. Because we've got a fuckload of yellow ones. <laughs> People, uh, if anyone wants to grab one of those, just head over to uh, Requiem Thrash at Bandcamp. Yeah. That's where we've got all our merch. Yeah, this is it. Your uh, well, your album and the EP is on Bandcamp as well, and you've got a Facebook page. And am I missing anything else? Uh, oh, we got YouTube. <laughs> we got it. We yep. got a Twitter, Twitter, Twitter Instagram. Instagram. Oh, you guys got everything. Yeah, man. Well, that Facebook bloody post reach keeps getting smaller and smaller, so we have to keep branching out more and more, which yeah. is annoying, but. Good for us at the same Probably time, can. I guess. Yeah, I hear you on that one. We're just putting stupid memes up on our page, and that seems to bump it up when we're getting desperate. It's just, uh, it's just ridiculous that we have to pay for this sort of crap. Yeah, it's so hard. You need to post like photos and videos to yeah. reach people these days. You can't put up a status because we we put up one the other day, and out of you know all of our followers, it got to about ten people in an hour at night time, and that was just. You know, shit, then we posted it again, and in the same amount of time, it hit a couple hundred people, so... 
I don't know what their algorithm is. It's just a bit random. Yeah. I think all that that money for sponsorship is just st- stupid. Oh, it's yeah, it's just yeah. They know their market. You hate to think how much they're pulling in. It's just eh, it's criminal. Yeah, for sure. Oh, man. Uh, but yeah, we will persevere, and yeah, hopefully we can get you guys a few more page views for out of this. Uh, definitely <laughs> out of this gig, though. We're definitely psyched oh, for this gig. It's gonna be a big one. Don't you worry about that. Well, yeah, we're pumping it as hard as we can. But um, well, yeah, what's next for you guys? I know you're jumping in the studio soon. You're just gonna keep on touring and keep on doing what you're doing. Keep hitting hard. Yeah, That's yeah. Right. We're, we've got shows booked throughout. June and July, and we'll, we'll just keep booking right up until the end of the year, riding at the same time. So, Hell yeah, yeah just smashing it out, man. Go go do some more um, in the state stuff. We'll head back over to Adelaide, head back up to Brisbane. Uh, we're going to do wow. Canberra. We're going to head down to Tassie at some stage. It's going to be a big year. Yeah, yeah that sounds like it. Going all across Australia because yeah, well, the European bands travel for five minutes and they're in a different country. We've got to. Travel half an hour to get to, you know, a new town. Spread the word. Yeah. Burn some fuel. Yeah, this is it. That's it. Pay for that fuel to get to the next town. Good, man. Good. Good fun. Good experience. Yeah. Well, yeah, if we can get those Legionnaires hats all across Australia, I think we'll be doing well. Yeah, Yeah. that's it. That's the goal. That's a goal. <laughs> That's brilliant. Uh, yeah, once more, I'll say, yeah, May 28th, Requiem, Hadelmore, Feast of Crows, Fallen Resist, and At Sea's End. It's going to be one hell of a gig. Uh, well, I think I'm just about out of questions, fellas, but one question we ask everyone is, if you had all the power in the world to tour with anyone at all, past or present, who would it be? Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson. That would be an interesting show. I know. Get a few pains. <laughs> Get bottled. Pink Floyd. Ooh, yeah. Go for the classics. Pink Floyd. Trying to imagine that crowd of you guys, Pink Floyd and Michael Jackson. That's an interesting mix. Hmm? You're right. That could work, yeah. Yeah. By the end of it, yeah. (laughs) That could work well. Cheers for the for the interview, man. Really enjoy it. Oh, no worries. This gig is going to be awesome. And yeah, like any time there's a metal gig in Ballarat, we are all over it. Oh, for sure, man. Try to be at least. Down onto this gig, 28th, it's going to be off hook. Woohoo! Well, yeah, five bands. We're just, this is this is like the pinnacle of Ballarat metal, isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah, it's the way, man. It's going to be, I want it sold out. We all want it sold out. Yeah, we'll absolutely. See, see everyone there. Promotion, let's get it down. Get it on the streets. That's it. Uh, well, yeah, May 28th, Carova Lounge. Nah, good stuff. So 15 bucks on the door. 15 bucks on the door. Get on down early, have a few ciggies and beers and enjoy your night. That's just, it. <laughs> Alright, well this has been awesome guys um, Yeah, I'll have to hit you up when that new album is out And you guys are in the studio as well um, But yeah, I'll see you guys down there at Corova Absolutely, cheers man, have a great night Yeah, uh, you bye. too And yeah, uh, good luck with the gig And I'll talk to you soon Cheers man Alright, see you guys Thanks very much